What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another OPM World video. All right guys, we're going to be doing the last, second last day actually, for the serious training. And I want to guide you guys through the whole thing because I got it all done. And we're going to get ready for tomorrow's seven day trial to pick your first SSR hero from the list. Now, everyone on my live stream this morning was asking me, who do I choose pain? Who do I choose pain? Like I mentioned on the live stream tomorrow, when I complete this, I will put together a full guide of all my videos from day one to seven for everybody. So you guys can now watch the entire thing rather than different videos of it. Uh, and then secondly, I'm going to talk to you guys about who you should choose as your SSR character based on my suggestions of what your account looks like. So I'm going to give you guys the plus, the bonus of each of these characters. And I want you guys to go back to your own account, take that information that I've given you and you know, put together an analysis of who is going to be the best unit for you. So we'll do all that tomorrow. But for today, let's talk about the usual. Um, update any character to limit break tier four. So if you go to your character list, all you need to do, guys, is this little tier break right here. You need to get four characters to tier four. So you guys can see tier five for this guy, tier five for this guy, tier four for her, tier four for him, and tier three for her, which we're going to get up eventually very soon as well. Okay, so that's four characters, tier four, very easy to do, just requires a lot of credits. Raise the merit of any characters to, to tier five. So again, four characters require. So merit is going to be the same uh, scenario, except you go to merit here and you get yourself the loot required from the commissions and you push your characters to, to five. I'm currently at nine for this guy, eight, five, five, and five. Okay, so that's what you do there. Um, next up, let's see. Day six, so equip characters with complete set of purple or higher quality memory chips. Now this one here in your memory chips, you need purple or higher with characters. So if you go to your memory and will, right over here, you guys can see most of my characters have purple and yellow memory chips and that's going to be what you need to do. It doesn't matter the rank guys, it can be any rank it needs to be as long as you have the purple or the, uh, here let me equip this real quick, I forgot to do that for him. Uh, as long as it's purple or if it's blue, you're good to go. Okay, so that's what you want to do for this one. That completes that one there. Uh, let's see. Uh, complete three Blizzard group prestige, prestige quests. So this one's pretty straightforward. This is the Blizzard group. Ironically enough, I'm actually here because I was picking up my daily. So you need to do any of the three quests here. They're very straightforward. They're mostly to do with commissions. You guys can see I'm currently doing one right now. So any of these three quests, once you've done this one, you move on and you do it three more, two more times and you've completed that. Uh, again, they're all in the commissions most of the time. So it's just any requirement. Like the one I have right now, I have to perform one ultimate. The other ones I have to dodge 20 times. Uh, one other one is like defeating an opponent using a specific kind of character or type. Pretty straightforward things, guys. So just do that one. Equip two heroes with two wills. Wills are found in the same place as memories, right? <clears throat> Let me show you guys real quick. So memory and will right over here. The wills are the ones in the middle. Okay, these ones right here. It's got to equip three of those on any character and you're good to go. I think it was two characters or one. Let me just double check. Let me double check. Two characters. Okay, so two heroes with two with two wills. Very easy to do. Okay, clear joint action stage three seven three, which is going to be the storyline stage seven three. Complete hero allowance twenty four times. Again, hero allowance, guys, is this little icon over here, the little gift box. You click on that. This is going to be your battle pass. They call it a hero alliance. All you got to do is complete sixty four missions total from day one till now. It's accumulative. Uh, and you'll get this one done. Plus, you should be doing that because it gives you a great amount of team exp. Plus, you get rewards for free to play along the way as well. Like, look at this. I'm about to get some credits. So that's gonna be huge for me as well too. All right, moving on to the next one guys uh let's see we are now at complete one combat mailstorm okay mailstorm let's go to the let's go back let's go can i, can I leave here i can't leave here let me let me go back to the outdoor world and i'll show you guys what where the mailstorm is and what it's all about okay uh, i did it just to get it done um one sec here And right there, it says participating in Abyssal Wanderer can earn you a lot of will tokens. So if you, a lot of people ask me where to find will tokens. Abyssal Wanderer and the simulation are a great place for that as well, okay? Um, which we're going to be doing a, a guide for Abyssal, Abyssal Wanderer as well today, guys. Maybe maybe today or tomorrow. I might do it tomorrow, actually, uh, with, with a live stream. I might actually uh, live stream today the Abyssal Wanderer and then cover it tomorrow. Sorry, guys. It takes a while here for, for it to connect sometimes. Uh, the servers are acting all weird. There we go. Okay, so we're going to go back to our to our uh, hero association and we're going to show you guys where the mailstorm is now mailstorm is something you have to unlock over time it's i think it requires level 30 or 35 uh, and it's actually the only leaderboard uh that matters right now because it gives you the most amount of rewards it gives you guys uh world silvers currencies 
uh, and all of the stuff that comes along with it. So very, very important mode and one that you're going to be spending your time in uh, to accomplish and get yourself as many rewards as you can. Okay, so I'll show you guys right here. Second floor into the arms room right there. And it's the far corner machine over here called Combat Mailstorm, okay? Uh, I did a live stream about this. I'll make a separate video on how it works. Um, you guys get rewards for accomplishing certain goals, hitting certain points. And then at the end of it all, you have a ranking where you guys will get rewards based on your rank. So there's the ranking right there. You guys see where you currently are at. And then the actual rewards themselves are pretty damn crazy, guys. So um, the ranking here, you can see here where I'm at right now. Uh, if you click here my ranking number one right now, which is kind of interesting. So I get myself 150, 501 if I get the Wolf Slayer one, uh, which I need to get higher, by the way. And you guys can see here, the higher you go in rank, look at this, you get 1,000, 50,000, and three. So you get yourself a lot of rewards in Combat Maelstrom. But we'll do a whole video on this one on another day. Uh, but right now we're gonna keep going on the uh, the day six of the series training. So uh, up here, upgrade to battle tier six. Clearing urgent commissions also can upgrade the tier battle. So this is essentially going through uh, the entire joint missions, right? The ones with the storyline, complete the joint missions. And once you do that, you go to the commissions board and you can update your battle tier by completing the bosses that are there. You should be doing that anyways because you get free summoning tickets as you clear them. Plus your rank goes up, which means you can farm for more uh, efficient EXP, more efficient credits, more efficient loot, uh, and also more efficient memories. Okay, so things that you need to definitely do. Consume 2,800 energy. So for those who don't know what energy is, if you go to here, this is your stamina system, essentially. So right here, your stamina system. Click on that. You need to spend 2,800 in total since the day you've logged in, okay? So pretty easy to do. If you need more, you click on it. Okay, you go to refresh energy here. And you can energy exchange from all the ones that you have, all right? Just so you guys are aware how that works. Done it many times in many videos. So if you need to go back and double check that, you can anytime on any of the live streams to see how I do it. Okay, and then uh, so complete 15 biography quests. Those are quests that are in the purple. If you go to your list right here you're going to see it's going to be called biography right there and it's usually a character's biography of some sort so movement rider zombie man if you get tatsumaki you get her as well too so uh, a couple different options there and then the last one here guys i believe is reach store uh, star level 15 in story the modern ninja okay so the modern ninja storyline is found in story here i'm gonna go back sorry one sec right there and if you go to story mode right here under main story they're looking for you to finish the modern ninja right here, okay? Get, get uh, I think it was, what, 15 out of 19? It's pretty straightforward, easy to do. You should be trying to get 100% on all these. I got to go back and do them myself. Uh, and this is a great place, by the way, to get yourself stamina as well, too. So there you guys have it. That is essentially it for that day. Remember, tomorrow is the last day, day seven. But don't worry if you're behind. It's not a big deal because they're actually giving you guys nine more days and five hours to complete this. So... Tomorrow, like I said, once I finish the day seven video, I'm going to put it all together into one from day one to day seven for you so you can watch the entire thing with, with timestamps and you know exactly what you need to do to accomplish each day. Uh, and then I will talk to you guys separately in a separate video who to choose from between the three characters. I think it's really important to break it down for you guys and you guys make that decision and understand what's best for your account rather than me telling you this is the character to go for because they all bring value to any team, uh, especially they can fill in some really really pivotal gaps for you. All right, guys, this is Payne. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.